Hey guys, welcome back. Okay, so I previously recorded a video for you guys where I was talking about um, Archangel Michael and the experience that I had with the red cardinals. Oh my God, this hair. <laughs> um, <clears throat> something that I was gonna mention in that video and I totally forgot was another experience that I had I believe it was uh, back last year, or if not the year before. Sorry, you guys, I'm going through perimenopause and my, my mind is not what it used to be. But anyway, it was a while back and I was in Tennessee and it's the same, it was the same time that I had that experience that I shared with you guys where I was sitting on my dad's uh, uh, cabin porch <clears throat> outside and the red cardinal appeared to me. All right, so maybe not the same day, but maybe like the next night or something, we were out in town because we were in Gatlinburg, Tennessee. You guys know we travel there a lot because my dad own, owns a cabin out there. And um, we were in town and my son Samuel wanted to stop at this, um, <clears throat> It was a fudge shop. Sorry, guys. I clear my throat a lot because I, I get allergies. Okay, so um, Samuel wanted to stop to get some fudge. And I was super thirsty because we had been, we took him to an arcade. <clears throat> and then we had been walking around a lot that night. So I was like super thirsty. And I wanted to get a bottle of water. So Sam was like, yeah, mom, I want to get a, um, I want to get a chocolate fudge. So I was like, all right, let's, let's cross the street over from the arcade and let's go get your fudge so that I could get my bottle of water. And we're standing there in line waiting, you know, to be next. There was a lady or a guy in front of us buying something and there's a guy standing there and he was just standing there and looking at us. And then all of a sudden he goes to me you want something and i was i thought he worked there so i was like yeah um he wants a uh, fudge and i want a bottle of water but it, i thought it was weird because the guy was outside of the window <clears throat> not on the other side of the counter so i was like okay that's weird but whatever maybe he's helping the other guy out you know that works there and then he just starts talking and he's like, oh no, we're here with like this church on a tour. And, and I was like, oh, okay. So then I thought to myself, that was, so why did he ask me if we want something? Like if he doesn't work here. So as he was talking to us, he told, he told me, I want to pay for whatever it is that you guys are buying. Like, you know, he wanted to do a good deed. And I was like, oh my God, like, I was like, oh, you know, you don't have to do that. And he was like, no, yeah, I want to. And I was like, okay, you know, I felt bad tur turning him down. So I was like, <clears throat> God, I'm sorry, you guys. Oh, I'm always having to clear my throat. So I was like, all right, sure, thanks, you know. And um, so, yeah, uh, I don't know how the conversation came up. And he asked me about my kids. Uh, and I was like, I don't know. It's, it was weird that he was asking about my kids, but I was like, it's like, oh, so is this your only son? I'm like, no, I have two more kids, but they stayed back at the cabin. Oh, because we were celebrating Samuel's birthday. That's right. I remember now it was around February because Sam was born in February and we had taken him to Tennessee because he's like me. He loves it up there in the country. So we took him up there to celebrate his birthday and so that was his night so the little one stayed in the cabin with my parents and we took him into town to go to the arcade and all that and yeah i have no idea how the conversation came up but he was like oh um is this your only son i'm like no this is my oldest i have two little ones as well and um he told my son oh hi nice to meet you what's your name and samuel goes and Sam goes, I'm Samuel. And he was like, oh, biblical name. That's that's wonderful. And I was like, yeah, all my kids have biblical names. And but he was talking to us in, in Spanish. I believe it was a mix of Spanish and English. What he, he was mostly leaning towards Spanish. I guess he realized that we were Hispanic. And he goes to me, oh, nice to meet you. My name is Miguel. Miguel is Michael in English. 
And in English, in Spanish, Archangel Michael in Spanish is Arcangel Miguel. So, you know, it didn't hit me at that moment. Um, took me like a few seconds to register it. I shook his hand and I was like, oh, nice to meet you, whatever. So then we walked away and we told him, thank you so much. You know, may God bless you. This and that, and we walked away. And the moment I was walking away, it hit me. I was like, poof, you know, like, Miguel. I was like, holy crap. I was like, whoa, you know, like Archangel Michael. And I was like, wow, that's amazing. I had those two experiences up there in the country, the, the, the red cardinal showing up at my porch. And then in town, a stranger named Miguel wanting to do a good deed for us. And his name was, you know, I was like, oh my God, you know. And the weird thing is that we crossed the street and I looked back and he disappeared. He wasn't there anymore. Like me and Sam were like, he, Sam looked at me and he was like, that was nice of him. And I'm like, yeah, that was very nice. You know, you could tell that, um, that he's a Christian and he was trying to do a good deed. And uh, I just felt this thing while I was walking, crossing the street so we could leave. And in my mind, I was like, Miguel, huh? I was like, oh, Archangel. And I looked back. I don't know if he walked away or I don't know if he really was an angel. I have no idea, you guys, but it was amazing. It's not the first time that I've had encounters with angels and I've told you guys about it. I've shared my stories of about angels and I will share in another video more stories, but I, I didn't want to make this video too long, but this is something that I was planning to mention in my previous video and I totally forgot, like it totally slipped my mind. So I was like, oh my God, let me record it really quick before I forget. Cause like, yeah, uh, that's why I've been doing long fasts lately. I've been doing a lot of 24s because the mental clarity is amazing. It helps you get rid of that brain fog, you know? And most most of my brain fog right now is because of perimenopause, because when you are, when you have a, a ketosis lifestyle or a intermittent fasting lifestyle, it really helps a lot with mental clarity. But um, hormones are no jokes, <laughs> are no joke, you guys. But anyway, I wanted to share this really quick with you guys. And all right, guys, take care. I will see you on my next video.